and welcome to the God is a Geek podcast. I caught Adam Carroll off guard a little bit with that introduction. He was, I think, looking off camera at his phone, but this is episode 424. I'm your host, Adam Cook, and he, as you can see down there below, is Adam Carroll. All right, mate? I'm good. You did catch me off a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I spotted that a little bit. Sorry. I, yeah. Well, you know, it is what it is. I like to keep everyone on their toes. Also with us this week, another co-host of mine is Christopher. I'm just trying to remember which way to point. Christopher White. He's over there. No, there. I don't know. Hello. Um, hey, mate. All right, how are you? All right. I'm, I'm good, yeah. Very good. Not sure what happened to my voice. I'm going, how are you? All right. How are you? All right, mate. All right, the bit uh, <laughs> West Country, I guess. Everyone, everyone excited to be here? Everyone refreshed what and, was- you know. I it's, am. Yes, I it's am. A, it's a weird it's a weird time in games at the moment because like Cyberpunk 2077 is when you're watching this is it out. It's probably out so, until it's in your hands. Let's not we can't be sure. <laughs> we can't be sure. But the PS5 is out like as we record this today I've downloaded the PS5 version of FIFA and I'm more excited than a man should be to play a game he's put probably 100 hours in already. Um I'm excited to see like if my I, I can't remember what carries over now. Like there's because I think some stuff doesn't. I've got a funny feeling like your ultimate team does, but your pros don't. I don't know. We'll find out, Chris, I expect. you know. Uh, I've had a little go, but I'll, we'll get there when uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get there. We'll talk about the roundup in a bit. Of, and and, yes, and that's the PS. thing. Like Adam Carroll now has the... Not, I, was, well, I, I can't even say the world's most expensive PlayStation 5 because... They're mm. being on the disgusting scalpings going PS3 on. PS3 like, was the most expensive, wasn't it? No, but I meant yours specifically oh. was expensive. Oh, Jesus, but, no. But, yeah, I mean... I'm at a fair price. The seven steps from last week. Was it seven steps? Seven steps, my friend. That wasn't um, last that was week. Two weeks ago, wasn't it? Two weeks ago. That was stressful. Yeah, wow. But um, it, it, it kind of just arrived to the house. Do you know, so I was watching the seven steps and I got to step six and it just froze. And then all of a sudden it was just like appeared in my house. And I was like, oh, what? So that was <laughs> a nice is. surprise. Yeah. yeah, I got the PS5. Um, yeah. What else can be said that hasn't been <clears throat> said already? Uh, it's massive. Um, Did you? Here's a question for you, right? Because th- mm-hmm. and that that is a good point to start. I don't think I've asked Chris this actually. So obviously I reviewed it, and like I, you know, we weren't allowed to show stuff. But I think actually when I received it, I was actually straight away allowed to show photographs. And but I think I wasn't at the time allowed to show photographs of the Xbox embargoes. Um, mm-hmm. When you, even though you'd seen coverage, our coverage, everyone's co- the pictures and everything, when you actually got the thing out. Were you, like me, first of all, quite surprised by how heavy it was, but then when you actually unwrapped the kind of, not cellophane, you know, the plasticky, the, yeah, you know, yeah. the protective casing, and you had the, I mean, it's so close, but I can't pick it up. Were you still, because I was, still like, wow, this is big? Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, the thing is, a couple of days before I had, well, about a week or so before, I had the Xbox Series S. Oh which wow, is like, which, which is, is which is like a genuine. <laughs> the PS5 that's, is just massive. The PS5 so, yeah. is one of those that when because I, I and Adam, I do still want to hear, but I just want to say, Chris, yours is the discless, right? Yes. I yeah. kind of prefer the look of that, and if I were to get one for my house <clears> and not my office, I would go discless because yeah. I haven't put a disc in my PS5 oh, yet. But I the, can't even remember the last game I bought as a disc. To be honest, I've got FIFA, but that's and that, in fact that is literally. Excuse the scissors there. That is here, right here on Xbox, mm. that disc. Um, yeah. But the Series S, it's worth saying, is as big as the PS5 is, in terms of like, oh my God, it's a surprise. The Series S is that, but for how small it is. But Adam Carroll, yeah, were I, you? I think when I when I took it out, I think... Um, when I took it out... Uh, I thank, felt... you the, thank you for the early <laughs> podcast title. <laughs> I when felt I that took... I was... Yep, go on, sorry. <laughs> I was just more scared to drop <laughs> it. Do you know when you get a new oh, new I, thing wow, and you're yeah, just but... like you don't know which what part is kind of like like those those wings I was like oh how how are they like what, story wise I, wh- why is everyone calling them wings what am I missing I don't know what else you call them fucking ears just what's well, just <laughs> yeah all right ears like but, I like that more you know you, yeah. well yeah so do I you know the guy and there's always a guy that does the kind of hey it's got a PS5 smash on the outside of the shop to really upset the people who are queuing up or whatever yeah did yeah, you yeah. did you see I I actually saw I don't normally watch him but I just it was Twitter I just saw someone do that with the PS5 oh, because of the just... weight of that thing yeah it is the, heavy like the throw it just went because yeah. it's seriously weighty. Mm. It's like, got some I mean, weight to it, 
Um, I was more stressed out with the uh, stand, if I'm brutally honest. I was a bit <laughs> yeah. like, what the fuck is this? No, and I was kind of like <laughs> twisted. I was like, is it a little fucking <laughs> yeah. puzzle or something? Yeah. Um, That's fair. But anyway, look, it, it got set up and uh, yep. I was very excited. And, you know, you know, we all have had that feeling now, we can mm. say. It, but it was it was at just that moment where you wanted to make sure that the you were on the right uh HDMI channel and or input and stuff and you're ready to go to yeah. see it from the second you press on. And uh I actually have I have the disc version and stuff um, mm-hmm. and then that that alone was just weird because if you do know you when you're standing it up the discs go not the way that you think they would be see, so I have got I can't it's really awkward because like people can't see it. I'm actually looking at mine now, right there, literally there. Mm-hmm. I'm looking at just pure white, a slab of white with the PlayStation logo on it. Mm. I I haven't got it. Oh, I mean, I really can't. There's no way of showing it. Like, yeah, I haven't yeah. got mine facing me like that. I've got it facing me like that. Yeah, yeah. But I, it's I don't know. It, it's just it's just it's just weird in that sense. But overall, look, um, this console is absolutely phenomenal. It has delivered uh, all the stuff that I was hoping for. Um, the the controller dual sense. Like I'm just going to go through this very quickly because it's obviously been repeated so many times. But uh, controller did. Okay, so hear hear me out a second, right? The controller did make me go, oh, that's nice and that's cool. I do think I built it up a small bit in my head because I was hard after... not to with the amount of hype that not just yeah other media. I was fucking. I, had I was kind of a bit nervous had. going into it for some reason. Really? I was like, oh shit! Like, what way is this going to feel? Because you know, a lot of it's people. It's quite weighty. Go, oh, it's it's quite yeah. different. I don't know. I just happen to have it there, but it's quite in the hands. It is quite yeah different yeah. feeling because even the PS4 controller it was kind of the PS3 controller, but not like a cheap Tonka toy. Mm. This feels oh, it's beautiful. It's a great I controller. I agree. I was the yeah, first it's... time I played it again. Like your pre-release was like, oh, this might be a bit heavy and a bit. And I was like, no. I, I again, I, yeah, I went yeah. back to play an Xbox Series X for a game we'll talk about Immortals. Um, kind of feels like a cheap controller compared to this one right but what i will say though is that like i jumped into like astrobot um, and uh that was that was just oh, Astro inc- an incredible game right but i will what i will say about astrobot is like mm. so far i played astrobot spider-man miles morales and demon souls and i think that like astrobot obviously offers the most dual sense stuff I feel that I have played so far. So much so that I'm going to throw this card out early. I don't think they're going to go the full hog with the dual sense on all the games to that level. I, I don't like, think they should. Do you? Maybe, do you well, want, unless they release another full fledged Astrobot game, which they well, should. Well, yeah. But like, they don't. I, I, f- I mean, I've played, obviously. God, it's hard and hard to say this without sounding like a wanker, but I've played an awful lot of PS5. <laughs> like, I've definitely played the most PS5, PS5 on the team. Yeah. I feel like I've got to that point now where the functionality in that thing is used in a in a subtle way almost that sometimes it feels like it's all, so for, let's let's talk about Immortals Phoenix Rising right I've been fortunate enough to play that on Xbox Series X and PS5 people aren't going to like what I have to say about that I think it's going to make people quite angry you prefer the PS5 over Xbox why do you think that is because of the controller the controller so it was in my head and the thing is man so so you just to check you've both played miles morales and astro yeah, bot yeah. uh chris you haven't played demon souls no but adam you have mm-hmm. the loading times on that console are ridiculous now we, you know, especially in, in, in spider-man like, you've played chris you've played spider-man uh, sorry miles morales spider-man on ps5 now haven't you oh yeah because i know you played that PS5. on you, you finished it. okay so yeah. the loading t- well there aren't any I say the loading times. There, there aren't any loading times. Yeah. No. Now, what that did for me, and I don't know if this has seeped into you, Chris, because you're you were playing a next gen game in Immortals on your Xbox Series yes. S. Yeah, is in the back of my mind, I was constantly thinking because it loads really quickly. By the way, on on the S and X, it does actually load. There's not an awful loading times are going to become a thing no. where like people are going to wonder, do we need to make those tip tooltip things? But all the time I was playing it, and I love it. And again, we'll get onto that. I was there thinking, hmm, I just wonder. Now, for the loading times, the PS5 on that game, if 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 it's better, it's marginal. Like, But it does use the controller. So, Adam, you haven't played it. Chris, you know when you're doing this, I mean, you know what Zelda is, though, Breath of the Wild. When you're climbing the walls, um, there's a point yeah. where it tells you, actually, you're probably better off 
in, and I found this interesting because I think it's the opposite in Zelda. In Immortals, it tells you. I think I'm sure it tells you to jump up as you go up, and it like it uses less stamina or something. I think, yeah. which doesn't yeah, actually does. make much sense, but it's a game. Every time you kind of make contact with the wall, just down here, and I'm pointing to the sort of oh, what would you call them, mm-hmm. the holdy bits of the controller. There's like a little pip to imp- for the impact of you hitting oh, nice. each time. The triggers, obviously, when you bow and arrow it. And, it, like I say, people aren't going to like this, but, yes, on paper, the Xbox Series X is the most powerful console. Not debating that, not arguing it. I mean, there's evidence to suggest that right now that's up for debate, but I, I think, ultimately, over time, we know we're, we're weeks into these consoles. Yeah. I went back and... Because the thing about Ubisoft games now is you can do this, by the way, apart from Watch Dogs, which is really disappointing. But you can, they've got like their own Ubisoft Connect thing where you can upload your save to their cloud. And down, And I was, one little disappointment, I kind of had hoped when I carried on my save on PS5, it would pop all the trophies. Doesn't. That's a minor thing. Um, so I went back to Xbox again and still a beautiful game. Chris, you know, you've reviewed it. Beautiful game. Gorgeous yeah, looking game. But. Then I went back to the PS5 again because the controller's got all the haptics and like it feels a little bit more immersive and yeah. I don't and know that's what the, the way it is. Uh, that's that's why what, it's that's why it's kind of a winner in ways, not to be a like it's, it's clever though, PlayStation isn't it? fanboy, but no, it does well, I'm do neither. That. I don't care what format a game's on. Like, I've, I've proven that by the fact that I'm saying I've played it on two platforms. And if I had it on Switch, you know what? I'd play it there as well. Whatever yeah. suits me at the time, I don't care. Yeah. The games are what interest me, but. I'm not going to say it because it doesn't need to be said because I've kind of said it without saying it. I probably it's it's very clever what they've done with that controller. It's it's mm. very clever because it's, it just sows little seeds in your head. Like if I wasn't playing Call of Duty, like Chris, you've played Call of Duty on PS5. Yep. Out of interest, have you kept the triggers on? You know the adaptive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Me, me too. And I thought it's I'd turn very them off. Weighty. It's a very it feel like. It's not just a like some games like are subtle, and I, yeah. like, I think as Adam says over time, yeah, most games will will implement it, but not to the same effect that like mm. maybe God of War Two will and and oh, the kind God. of big budget games. <gasps> yeah, you yeah. said it there. Yeah, but Fuck. Call of Duty like the the guns like the, using a sniper rifle. Yep, feels amazing compared to like an assault mm. <clears throat> and even a pistol. Like there's a lighter vibrations and stuff, but like. The the PlayStation haptics, like I, I like it, but yeah. at the minute it's not a massive like playing Immortals on the Xbox. Like I I adored that game, and I feel like I'd I'd adore it on the PS5. Yep. But the haptics aren't the be all and end all for me. No, not at all. But, but I think if I was if I was asked yes. which version I'd have, it would it would be anything with haptic feedback in because <laughs> I find that it's. <laughs> it's very well implemented so far against every game I've played on the PS5. And it's it's going to be interesting because like the reason you started on Xbox is because I believe Ubisoft have a, like a marketing deal with um with 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 Xbox, you know, I know a lot of their games are cross promoted via Xbox. Yeah. Um so it tends to be the case that we'd like to send you a review code and it's kind of like well, you could go PC, but generally speaking the Xbox seems to be coming first from Ubisoft games. And now I don't know any more than what I've just said. That's my assumption is They've got a marketing deal, so they want you to review on Xbox, and the PS5, PS5 code came later, which would matter to media like us because we're like, well, whichever. All we care about is getting the game as early as possible, so we can play it as much as possible. So we don't yeah. care what format we really play on. So, but the thing is, with Ubisoft Connect, it doesn't really matter because you can just upload your save game and carry. I'd, I would like to play that game on Switch. We sh- we should. We should probably should we just get into Immortals while we're sort of we're talking around yeah. it an awful lot. Um, yeah, yeah, absolutely. We've we've obviously got in what, weeks. I'm trying to think when we, we haven't confirmed a date yet, but obviously our game of the year pods that people are. If you're new to the, our YouTube channel or this podcast, we do a five day long um, celebration of games around Christmas mm-hmm. time, where it's it's it. Last year it was twelve to thirteen hours. Um, don't know what it's going to be this year. I haven't done it yet. Um, but we do a category called biggest or nicest surprise. And for me, so far this year, and it's not done yet, but Immortals 
is is a massive surprise because I saw the footage that um, James for us did a preview of where he played like five six hours, and it's like yeah that game looks it, yeah it looks good, and it's it's a funny game actually because one thing I'd say about the look I don't know if this is I don't know if you feel this way Chris, playing it it looks phenomenal but when you watch it 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 looks good, but playing it think, it looks phew. I think because you're fully immersed in the gameplay because Mm -hmm. like the the, like to look out over the so it's essentially a big island and it split up into different regions Mm -hmm. each region has a different god associated with it and you have to go and talk to them to get them to help you fight the big bad boss typhon the greek titan and each region like has a different like biome or different like style to it so aphrodite's very beautiful lush grasslands and did you did you go there did, and... do you have to go that one first i don't yeah, go wherever you because, want because i Cause did and you restricted. did and i think mick did and i just wonder because <clears throat> i almost felt like that was a mistake because that one is so beautiful also that one seems to have the most health in it like apples on um, apples um pom- yeah. pomegranates on trees yeah, or is that my imagination yeah. no pomegranates yeah no but i mean does I think, it, it seems to be no, more I think, of that I think, it, I think it does because Ares is kind of like a like a desert it's like a desert yeah that's what wasteland. i thought yeah so the trees so there's not a lot of like greenland there and no. even um just up north of that hephaestus is places like all ironworks and fire and yes. you know stuff like that and then you get to athena's which is it's kind of like athena's is similar to aphrodite because there's a lot of yes. greenery and stuff but there's a lot uh, of like more that's the one i've spent the least time in so that explains why stuff like that yeah but it's beautiful to look at yeah and like stunner when you fight and the gameplay kicks in and you're kind of pulling off all these moves with the different godly powers you can get, which are all pretty fantastic. Uh, and you've got your standard combat, which, which they all, it all flows together so well. And then you've throwing your dodges and your parries and your um, bow and arrow. And it, it kind of feels like Spider-Man in a way where you're pulling off mm. all these moves and you don't know how you're doing it. But it looks it's amazing. Muscle memory in it, a lot of it. it. It's muscle memory, yeah, and it just flows so well. And you look like everything about it just looks so good. Yeah. And even like the the animations are really good, like with the the actual gods and Phoenix, whoever you choose to make her, him, whatever. I was a him, you were a her. Yeah, I, but I, think... I was talking when I was talking to you about it. I was referring to her as a her <laughs> because that's who she is to me. Like, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's really, it's a really cool. Like, you feel really connect, connected to her, and like she's. She's just saying, I'm doing it again. But she's such a yeah, like. She uh, is a she. That's fine. She is a she for you. Yeah, she's such a positive character as well. Like she's, she's kind of come from nothing to to take on this role uh, against a brother who's like turned to stone and. And he's like the have... ultimate hero, isn't he? He's yeah. He's what the hero of a game is normally like, and in your case, she is kind of the. Um, book smart one, isn't she? The fake, almost a, a fable she's just a teller. storyteller. She knows yeah. she knows stories about the Greek gods, and she, her brother went out and fought, and then He's he got fight, turned yeah. to stone like everyone else. And you're kind of the one left going, right? Well, I yeah. kind of need to save everyone. Um, so I mean, the combat's perfect. It looks great. The, can, um... I, can I just say there? I'm gonna. Uh, do you know what? Since I'm in for a penny, I'm in for a pound. I'm gonna say a second thing that's gonna make people really angry this week. This game does borrow an off, and I mean it. Borrow is being kind. It borrows a lot from Zelda Breath of the Wild. And I say Borrow is being perhaps too kind. Yeah. The combat in this game is better. Oh, God, yeah. Um, like Because they add... So, for example, there's, there's the, the gods give you blessings, don't they? And they give you powers, and you can unlock them. And they're all basically like you know, left... Is it, oh, shit, I haven't played it for a few days now. Is it left, left L1 or left... Tr- Bumper L1 and, and one of the face buttons or triggers button on the right yeah. or the or the left trigger yeah but l1 or lb right. is the kind of it, it opens up the godly powers and then when yes, you press a button right. on the right whether that's your main <laughs> four or your back two mm. it pulls off different moves and but you can then upgrade the different moves to have that's, see, that's the thing effects. but there's also but, like additional combat things like so for example one i was going to unlock early and then i sort of got to it I don't know what it's called, but it's like um, so there are enemy. Obviously, there are sort of gothic enemy, gothic um, Myth- Greek my- mythological enemies. Yeah. Like there are like b- birds and and the birds you tend to be like bow and arrow with at first because you know they're they're flying. Um, 
but that's not really the best way of actually because the bow and arrow is not particularly strong as they never are they're more of kind of area of effect or the opposite like keep them away a ranged weapon but then they attack you and you can do your dodge and it's got the same zelda thing where if you dodge quick enough that like, time slows down it's a very generous window um but there's a power you can unlock or a skill i suppose where you can like it's like a godly power you fly you, 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 it's almost lightning like you throw it at them and you pull yourself to the enemy very devil may cry like mm. uh, in devil may cry 5 with a hook you know, but you can also then upgrade it or, or, or unlock another skill, which is the opposite, where you pull them to you. So you quickly settle into a rhythm that's... Re- and this is quite late in, like for me, like 12, 12 hours, I think, before I finally bought that power. And it made the combat just change so much because I would jump... I would rather Because you can stealth. You can do the same thing in Zelda where you sneak up quietly and you get a stealth attack, take loads of damage. A bit like a Dark Souls as well, I guess. But I didn't want to do any of that. I'm like, no, no, I'm getting in the mix because I've got all these godly powers. I know how to manage my stamina so that I'm never running out. The weapons, by the way, and the and the armor have all got... So There's so much to this game. So you don't get a new sword that's plus 10 damage to your old sword. You don't do that. In this, you have a sword level that you can upgrade... It upgrades all swords. All swords. But each mm. sword has its own buff. So, mm, okay. like, and the same for all the armor. Like, the armor is the armor does this much, and upgrading it will, whatever armor you equip, will be say, another 28 damage reduction. But they've all got their own buffs. So, you can kind of make builds for certain enemies. So, and, and I quickly found that my favorite was that basically I had, I think it was a, sh- Chris might have got this, I don't know, a sword that when I hit them, I regained stamina. Yeah. And that's fucking hell because you could you could wade is vital in. Vital in battle, absolutely. Because if you run out of stamina, <clears throat> you can't do your godly powers. You can't do. Yeah. You kind of got to just. But with this sword, which is your quick attack, essentially, you can you can do like you can punish so much with like three godly powers. Assuming you've you know you've got. I've had like at that point, I'm three stamina bars. You know because I've done the stuff to. It's, again, like Breath of the Wild, you get you do this thing to get stuff to upgrade your stamina. You do this thing to get your health upgraded. So so on and so forth. So I would wade in with massive amount of godly powers, and I would the biggest enemy just like smash into him with my sword, so I could get loads of my stamina back. Then I'm whipping this bird to pull me up to it, so I'm safe up in the air because they can't get me. Smash him with three attacks, he's dead. But I've hit him with the sword to kill him, so I've got even more stamina back down. Hit them with the godly powers, and I I feel like this insane badass when I'm playing it. I feel kind of the way devil may cry makes me feel or, or bayonetta like that, that level of combo and yeah. it has got a combo system in it yeah you're fully in control aren't you you're not it's not look you know you know exactly no, what you're you, doing. you are and also <laughs> like in like devil may cry you upgrade your attacks as well so like initially it's just a three button a right right bumper or r1 three hits that's your that's your combo with your sword right trigger same with your with your axe or hammer um mm. Yeah, you're right. You can upgrade that to like a, a six level combo. Um I felt like I don't I don't feel like I'm mashing. I feel like I am no. comboing. And yeah. that's unexpected as well. Yeah, because different enemies require different approaches, don't they? Because you've got like the Cyclops <coughs> and st- and the uh Taurus who are right hard bastards and they Which need one's like the Taurus, is that the one with four arms? Taurus- Taurus is like the bull on two feet with like the... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, yeah, Taurus, so yeah. You, you have to use your hammer of Hephaestus for him, which is like when you level that up, it becomes like it does loads of damage. And the same to the Cyclops. And the but hammer, like, by the way, or, or, or axe, does... Yeah. Um, sh- what is it? Not shield. Shield damage? Armor damage. Yes, yeah. And once you fully... What game does that? What's the most common... What's, what's the game that does that where you basically smash their armor down and it sort of stuns them for a bit is it i'm trying to think which game it is you oh, know there's two know. bars there's a health bar and then there's a, like a stamina yeah. or armor uh, sekiro d- uh, a bit stuff like sekiro does that yeah once yeah, you knock their you know stuff like that sort of thing the division did it and like halo and stuff like that mm. where they've all got enemies with shields that you have to take down yeah but um but no, i mean two more things just quickly to mention about immortals that makes it so good the puzzles which are the puzzles not just Part of the main story, there are puzzles to do everywhere. And and like another thing that makes it like Zelda, the things called the vaults. Which shrines. Are shrines. They're shrines. Uh, yeah. yeah, but the the level of, like, they're so intricately put together. And, and yes, like things like 
you're moving around big metal balls like you're doing Zelda and stuff like that, and you ah, sorry, there's a lot of pressure that, pads. That's the podcast title. Thank you, all... big <laughs> metal balls. Thank you. Done. Easy. Uh, <laughs> and you've got so you've got those vaults, and then you've got kind of ones that you just come across. Like there's Odysseus puzzle challenges where yep. you have to fire your arrow through circles <clears> around <throat> a course. And then speaking at the end of, the of them, you have to light the fire. Speaking of those, like additional, what they're like, what are they called mythical, mythical challenges, because yeah. they give you the coins to spend on God. That's powers right. And, but and that. I was in my third area of the map before I found the Pegasus ones, so I'm already thinking, like you say, there's the mm. there's the there's the ones where you use your, I nearly said glider, then your wings. <laughs> to float around to your course, so to speak, and get there quick enough. That yes. There's the ones with the, like you say, the arrows. Um, there's other ones, but I just kind of thought, well, I've I've done two full areas. I've seen kind of everything I'm gonna see, and I enjoy it, and that's fine. And you know, that was again twelve plus hours in, and then I just saw like, why is he talking about Pegasus all of a sudden? And I see the button, and I was like, oh shit, there's races in this as well. And it's like, I, <laughs> I, I don't know yet what I haven't seen. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, I feel like there's, there's probably more. I mean, but... the the stuff that... There's, these aren't the only things that make it feel a lot like Zelda, though. And, like, there's so many little things, like going and finding a horse. Oh, yeah, it's identical, yeah. Creep like, up you, quietly You have to creep stealth. up on a horse, and then you mount the horse, yeah. and then it's part, it's in your collection. Yep. Which is a lot easier to use, though. Cause yeah, you, you can, just like, hold a button. and, and you know, it, glide, and you glide. That's really yeah. cool, is that you can yeah. glide, and then you hold in a button, and you, like, dive down, and as you that's kind right. of float towards the floor... You can call your horse, get your horse, and ride up. Mm-hmm. Um, there's all that. There's, there's the horse auto collects for you as well, unless I, I yeah, love the skill. Yeah. If there's, there's like if really there's loads cool. of fruit on the floor or mushrooms for stamina that you can create with into stamina potions. Yeah. Um, it's it, not as it, like it's like with Zelda, it, you feel like you're more alive in that world. It's more. It's got a more, more of a sense of it. wonder to it in Breath of the Wild. There's no it's question. Bigger and like you. Yes. You know you stumble across something more it's more of a surprise whereas in this it's like you do do that but it's a lot more compact yeah and there's a lot more stuff there but i do i do love immortals i think it's yeah. gonna be missed by a lot of people it, it's a real but shame man because I'm, I, I, I'm gonna, I can give you a third one that's probably going to make people angry i'll go for the hat trick i think this is the best ubisoft game in probably five to ten years i yeah, think this absolutely. is the best no, it is. it's down. it's an original ip it's it's the I'll tell you another thing by the way. Um I forget if you mentioned this in your review, Chris, but this is something Mick mentioned to me, because he reviewed Valhalla. And in that he called out specifically the bugs and the glitches. I'll tell you what, Immortals Phoenix Rising, I didn't see a not not, not one. Smooth. I mean I, I haven't finished it. So no, it's I'm I'm as... nineteen hours in. Um it's, it's the most polished game really well. that Ubisoft have made. Um I want to throw two things out, one I like and one I don't. So in Adam, this is gonna. I know you played more of Breath of the Wild. So in Breath of the Wild, you had the champions, right? Mm-hmm. Replace them with the gods. Four gods, four champions. Um, in the middle, where Ganon would be, is the Typhon, where he you're gonna go fight him in the middle. In around him, four areas. There's your four gods, four heroes. You do a load of missions, and then you go and do like the final mission for the the heroes or gods, and that's that area. They're they, you know they're in your team, so to speak. But what I quite liked about Immortals. And I mentioned this to you, Chris, when we were sort of both playing it. Is so that that's what happens with so for me the first one I did was um, do you know I've com- I've completely Aphrodite. forgotten Aphrodite. Thank you, Chris. Yeah. Aphrodite. You know, it's like little missions, little missions, doing all the, your side quests, going in shrine. Sorry, not shrines, vaults, doing all all that stuff, and then you do one huge vault. So like at the end of a hero section in Breath of the Wild, where it was like one massive dungeon, and the dungeons in Breath of the Wild. The main ones were a bit. They were the only bit of that game that weren't incredible. I felt like they were just a. a they were okay. Not only are these brilliant. What they do is they mix it up. So you do all that in the first one with Aphrodite, and then I went to Ares. Ares. How do you say his name? Ares. Ares, the god yeah. of war. I was expecting the same system. Do a couple of missions. Do a final mission, which is the big, the big dungeon. Mm-hmm. No. And this one, first mission, big dungeon, big boss battle. And then after that, you do other little things and you have to collect things from him and help him out. And they mix it up. And then I thought, okay, well, the next one will be like that. No, it was different again. That one then for me was, I'm not even going to try and say the the the, the guy builds stuff, Hef- Hephaestus. Hephaestus. 
yeah. you know, hit his one, all of a sudden I've got to go and refire his forge for him. And that's the puzzle amazing. solving. I, 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 so, so good. The stories are so good. But the thing is, people shit it's on amazing. Ubisoft 4 and they will shit. And maybe rightly so. It's so, You can't call it homage. <laughs> Saying they borrow it is like... But I don't really... I, I would mind... And this is something Chris and I talked about as well. I would mind. This would bug me. But the question I would throw to people who would like me would be like, "Come on, it's not very original." What other games have gone? Breath of the Wild. Oh, that was amazing. Let's do that. I'm fucking all forest. Do you know what I mean? And that's kind <laughs> of initially. Really, like, you should be dude. Because like, but, like, like there's so many games borrow. Like, but things back when GTA the time. was. I know the the only open world game. Everyone borrowed from that first person shooters. Everyone borrowed the, from like Metal the of Gears Honor. Active Reload appeared Absol- in everything. Yeah, mm. so fuck, fuck uh, yeah. There's a lot, but but there right. isn't oh, a lot of these. There is, well, like the, what first, I mean is, you're right in saying there's a lot of kind of no, yeah, stuff yeah. taken from it. But what else is doing this at the minute? Really, isn't mm. a lot. I mean, Genshin Impact. I don't know if either of you have played, but if you haven't, and Chris, no. you you obviously loved Immortals. You reviewed mm. it, and you know you should download Genshin because. It's not. Okay. It's not. It's not this. But it's. No. There's a lot of it. I think. I think you'd really love it. I, mm. I actually think it might be one of those, especially your girls, the age they are, might be a yeah. nice little gateway for them into that sort of game. Yeah. Um. I like. At first, I was a bit like, "Come on!" Like, there, there's a bit. I don't know if it's. You know, you have to sit, but there's a bit where I approached a fight from above when I was still early in the game, so I wasn't bounding in, and they were stealthing in, and the enemies were down there talking about well, who put degradable weapons in a game, and I was like, mm, "You, you do know what you're doing, then, don't you?" Because making a joke about the one thing everyone holds Breath of the Wild against, you know, against it, they know what they're doing. But, but as I played on, and it it it, it has got its own identity. I'll like it what, doesn't they, have. They, they do the massively of... take the piss out. Sorry, yes, I just no, want they to do. Say they, they do. They massively take the piss out of Assassin's Creed at one point, and it's amazing. Yes, they do. Yes, I forgot it's that. Really good. They they kind of take the piss. There's some there's some questionable jokes in there that I'm not sure if they're all right nowadays or not. Zeus represents the kind of ignorance and the, the kind of. He's kind of an old man yells at clouds. Yeah, whereas Prometheus is telling his story, and he mm. is he's more on the pulse. So I, I that's like how I those guys, it. by the way. Oh, like, I've seen some people really yeah. not like the humour. It's not like I'm there going, oh, you are so funny, Ubisoft. But there was no point where I was like, oh, <laughs> fucking hell, lad. Because, again, like, I, I think Mick was saying to me he didn't like Hermes. Um, but I was sort of saying to him, he actually kind of goes into the background. He's there to sort of teach you and mm. hold, hold your hand. like a, you know. I, the only thing I don't like about this game is the far sight stuff because it's really busy work. And I, this is where it differs from Breath of the Wild. In Breath of the Wild, everything you discover, you kind of have to almost fall upon it a bit. You have to discover it. In this, if you hold down the right stick, you go into first person mode and you move move your camera around, so to speak, and you get like vibrations and then you hit right trigger and it shows you what's on the map. There's a chest, there's a vault, there's... You know, and that just to me felt like real busy work and I wasn't keen on it. But it's like, you know what? You, you could spend three seconds just hammering right trigger as you go around the map a bit and you've got 20 things unlocked and you're like, I'm fine for a bit now. I don't need to do that again. Um, you can also come, come across stuff quite naturally as well. Oh, you do. So and that's the like, thing. Are you, Often you, I wouldn't if use you just want the to stuff explore, I found. Yeah. Yeah. If you just want to explore the map and just find things yourself, you, can, you will do. I mean, I would do the far sight stuff. Open world where you get lots no. of stuff. But yeah, I would I do would, the yeah. far sight stuff, and then yeah, I would like stuff. actually just be doing stuff I found. Like I would be going somewhere, and I'd yeah. kind, of, kind of find a vault, and I'd be like, oh, "I'll do that vault." Um, they're really good, by the yeah. way, the puzzles, aren't they? As well, they're not just. Um, but also, Absolutely. again, to go back to it, there's these little liars, which are harps, um, and they you go up to them, you press a button, and they play like a little four note tune and it's like four strings of the harp and you have to remember them and find the big harp and play it on the big harp every one of those harps is playing like a so adam what music is this that's one of fancy hang on a minute fucking hell i can't remember what it was now that's my fancy yeah yeah no but it's basically <laughs> we can roll like with a, that though if you want no no but it, actually is it that have i have i been calling it the triforce theme and it is the final fancy theme you know what i mean though chris it's like that is such a rip off of yeah, another yeah. song oh, but it's like three keys different you know semitone down yeah. or whatever and, but like man 
it's it has got its own identity, and there are a few jokes, like I say, that one about the sort of non-binary, where it's like it it, it it's either pandering or it's old man yells at cloud, and it it maybe could have been cut, but it's like also there's enough self-awareness, like you say, to make a joke about Assassin's Creed, to make a joke about weapon degradation, that they absolutely know what they're doing, and there's no way they can be like, mm. oh, it's oh, we haven't played, but sorry, never played Breath of... Like, man, there's a... I think it's GameSpot have done a video where they've compared it. Fucking hell. I actually genuinely watched that, and I'm like, I can see Nintendo's fucking lawyers making some phone calls, because... The way it's framed in this video is literally side by side stuff, and it's like, holy shit, they are. I really could see. I'm gonna love Immortals, <laughs> but that's the thing, man, because I haven't played a game that yeah. made me feel that way since Breath of the Wild, so I can't be angry at it, really. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, no, you shouldn't. I, I want to go and play it now, kind of thing. Uh, but I also want to play mm-hmm. FIFA 21 on PS5, so I'm kind of a lost, cla- lost cause anyway. Um, Chris White, what other, what other sort of? I know you've you've been like smashing through the kind of. What are we calling these? Because on Xbox they're smart delivery. This is no no. What are they? PS5 upgrades. That's let's roll with it. Yeah, smart delivery certainly isn't smart. The way yeah, they, they do their upgrades PS5 are not smart. Upgrades in the uh, menu. So no. Why, why can't they just be? So just before. <laughs> Just be better, please. Sony, oh, I, I love you, PS5. Just please. Like like with Call of Duty a couple of weeks ago, don't make me download 200 <laughs> gig because you're downloading both versions. If I want the PS4 version, offer it to me. But <laughs> it's I, true. I, I don't need the <laughs> PS4 version if I'm playing on PS4. Carry on. I'm just going to get angry at myself. That's this is my right. fault. Like, the ultimate it's user just error, before, isn't it? Just before you start getting angry at yourself, I just want to quickly mm. mention Spiritfarer. Because I've oh. spent a... Box on of hours playing that <laughs> the oh. last week for for reasons. I um, can't imagine what and, they might be. Oh my! Oh my God, guys! F- fuck it! I'm it's so our podcast, off. man. We can say and do what we want. I'm going to ask it. Was Adam mm-hmm. in the future right about what he said when he said what did he Absolutely. say? Absolutely, said something like, "I'm Absolutely. almost certain you'll love it." I, time travel. Oh no! It, you, you, it'll make on. sense eventually. You know, I, it's, yeah. it's an incredible. Oh. <laughs> I just I just adore it. Everything about yeah. that game is just spot on. What, what it reminds me on? of like that game I played last year called Muta Zion, which no one okay. played. No, I always made it. But it was see. very much that they're all kind of animals and the, the, like and the dialogue's very similar, but the music's beautiful, the art is just fucking stunning. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Just I would bit, have a lot the, of still the, frames the of that on my wall. Yeah, I I'd mm. yeah, oh, yeah. so I'll, playing I'll that. Be, be mega interested in because I was exactly, I mean, you remember from the podcast, exactly the same boat as you, and I did fall off of it because I felt like I played so much of it so intensely, and then I started to hear how long it was. I was like, uh, so I'd be interested to see if you, you know, oh, I think it's like 30 plus. Uh, it's had. around, it took me about 26, 27 hours. Which, 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 which is one of, which is, which is one of the kind of cons in a way. It does slightly lose its steam, mm. but when it has that fucking steam rolling, it is mm. yeah. it is powerful. Do you know? Yeah, so, I'll, I'll like, definitely keep on with it because I've got some oh, time. You, def- you, you played any of the co-op yeah, I'll do at that. all? What Spirit Farer? Yeah, it's co-op. Is it? Yeah, so, I mean, you can. Oh. I think Chris and I, Chris Hyde and I, did it like via. Um, yeah. I can't pass sec, but it is offline. The other person plays as the cat. You can actually kind of not cheese oh, it, but cheat wicked. it a bit because you can. How far in are you? And if you unlocked where you can, there's mini games that you to make things like cotton. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. The loom okay. and the, yes, um, okay. So you think milk. about it. You can be doing that while your friend or missus or kids with as the cat can be cooking. So you can kind of. Oh God! I'll tell you min-max. what. My daughter was watching this. And she's asked for it for oh, Christmas. Oh, Dad, I'd love to Switch. play as that cat. I'd oh. love to, Dad. Fuck, oh, oh, I'll tell sorry, her. Love. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry, love. Yeah, I don't have a clue. <laughs> but no, so yeah, that's yeah, that's amazing. Fair. Um, dabbled with Watch Dogs. Um, quite enjoying that. Yeah. Um, it's all right, isn't it? Yeah, um, I, but I like Watch Dogs. Yeah, it's not like it's not bad at all. I'm not quite enjoying it. It's just a mm. nice 
just get out there, I mean, think about. Not, not being funny, but Ubisoft get quite a lot of shit. But they're three big games this year. I, I, all right, I'm not saying Watch Dogs Legion is like an absolute, you know, god tier game. No, but, but their three games fun, are right? all just, pretty yeah. pretty good you this year. You can whack it on. It's like the equivalent of like a blockbuster film. Like you just watch it and just chill out and enjoy the explosion. I I still haven't played that on Series X or PS5. Because when I played so that's it, what I'm playing it on. yeah. See, I kind of would really yeah, like to see how that X. looks. Because I was playing, it, I was playing it on Series X, but not yeah. on Optimize. You know, nice. was, yeah. I'll I'll I tell you what, because I don't, need to I don't go that. to London a lot like anymore, unfortunately. No, mm. no. Um, but like, it's so weird, like running down the streets and being yeah. because I know it quite well. So it's weird, just because I've been all over London with the press events. So yeah, like, I yeah. Can pinpoint everywhere, and I'm like, oh, I wonder if that's there. Yeah, I was, I was like, just... Evie over there is Bubba Gump Shrimp. And over there, it's just yeah, like, oh. it's very funny you said that because when I was playing it, I went down like I spent all my time in Camden Town. Yeah. yeah, and like I actually went to a spot where I got sick after a lash of Ken's, <laughs> and it was right there. I was like, look at this. <laughs> but my and... my favorite bit in that game was when I previewed it was just getting on that what are they called those cargo drones and flying oh, yeah. across the map and seeing the gherkin and stuff and then going to London Bridge like it is. Yeah. <laughs> I, it's only, a shame about the voice acting. That's all I'll say because that, the only thing, like, yeah. sorry, no, we we we'll get more into it in Game of the Year and stuff yeah, like, yeah, that, we like will. that. But I, all games. I will say is that out of the three games, out of the three Watch Dogs, I think London's my least favorite setting. But do you think Which that's because weird. it's the most grimy? It's kind of this is what it's I said about the bit... preview. Do you remember I said that mm. this is market in this game is just like <laughs> shagging grannies, loud fighting, everything, and it's like, <laughs> and it's like they're not shagging, they're fighting, aren't they? Fighting grannies. Yeah. Uh, sorry, a bit tired, a bit of shagging, but yeah, I just they might think... be. I don't know. Yeah. I think for me, anything I'll ever play in London, if it's not going to go down the get getaway route, then I'm just a bit like, ah. yeah. yeah. I want it to be fucking full on, like yeah, fair. But it's still fun. Yeah, it's, but, a um, it's a good game. PS PS4 to PS5, the, the step up with certain games. So, <clears throat> excuse me. NBA 2K21. Okay. Um, now they've they have added a lot of stuff. To be fair to them, um, and it's not just the visuals. Like the gameplay does feel a lot tighter. The haptic feedback. We were talking about subtlety earlier. Just no, no. It's it's horrendous. Like, oh, there's really? no subtlety here. Yeah, you when you're marking someone, you man some like you, you're up against them, the fucking controller goes nuts. And when you're like you're running low on like fatigue, you, you're fatigued or whatever, you, you to, to press down on the right trigger is so hard. And like it, you can hear it shake, like you can hear it yes, rattling inside. Yeah. Did it's you make your nuts. own um what are they called? My Yeah, I I, you, I, I can't app? No, because I've I've when I did it before I look like a fucking alien. See, I that, did it. My face is, it just doesn't fit like a small body. <laughs> See, I, I did it right, man. <laughs> and, and it was stretched. It was I, fucking horrible. It's God, why I stopped brilliant. playing the game, because I, I, it looks amazing. Like, it does look sensitive. It looks pretty fucking good already. But I used the app, and the app basically makes you take photos. It, it takes photos of your face, lot and lots of them, by the way. Um I took it took me ages because it kept failing like at the last minute, and then I finally got one, and it made me turn the game off and not play it. And I actually <laughs> deleted the game because it was mostly spot on. But because the only way and I've got my phone here, the only way I was actually able to do it was I've got a little dock there, like a, a wireless charging dock. So rather than as everyone else does, takes a photo like that, or maybe even like you know that higher, it made it take them all from down like that. Where it's actually <laughs> oh shit. And what that did right was it got all my features right, but it made my jowls look like um, <laughs> almost like um, Mr. Creosote. And I was playing it going like the rest of it's uncanny valley weird shit. But like it really filled me out here. I was like, I you're looking like fucking Marilyn Brando on The Godfather, right? Yeah, really. yeah. And I was like, it, do you know what? I'll be fair to it. Like it got my beard and everything. It really, really well done. But like the, it, I just couldn't look at, I couldn't look at me. No, I don't see myself. I know I'm a big guy, like, but I don't like. I'm not all like, no, like that, you know. No. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Boss and I was looking at this guy. I was looking, <laughs> that's what it's, it's exactly that. I was looking at this guy at the start of the career where he's on the bus, like looking all chill, like he's got his sneakers on. He's like, yeah, like listening to music like that. But he's like, <laughs> no, I can't. I can't yeah, no, play this I, game. I, hate, like, I, I deleted but... it. Yeah, no. Uh, but game like the game itself, like it's, it's it a good does game. look incredible. Yeah. Like the, the the most of the players look excellent, but 
like a lot of the the older players that you can get in my team and um, through like the classic teams in the actual like exhibition matches, yeah. or some of the lower rated players that haven't had the same kind of attention, do look like upgrades, like minor upgrades from PS4. But like guys like Steph Curry, um, LeBron, Anthony Davis, all these kind of big NBA players, they they look insane, like so good. And like the city mode, which is like the new like neighborhood so in the neighborhood you play like street games and you can go to the shops and it's like setting this little not big open world at all but it's like in a, in a neighborhood yeah. and this is now the city where it's taking a place across this huge city with different boroughs in and like it's cool but there's not a lot of people playing at the minute so it feels very empty so hopefully that'll improve because no it's out like, and everything yeah you can do a lot of stuff once you've but wasn't this you've... one of the games that wasn't a free upgrade it was like if you had the what was Mamba it? Mamba Forever, Forever edition, edition. Yeah. Which was got... like the. Yeah, because it's not. Like a hundred quid it's version. It's not like. But it's a, a 70 it's quid like... version. Yeah, but it's not like Dirt 5 where. But it's just up smart. No, it's minor web, minor right. additions as such. This is no, so, the modes okay. and stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and they added the WNBA, didn't they, as well? And the, 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 the W, which is like a story mode for women, which is great. Oh, but, they didn't what... just add, add women. No, they no, actually added they, a... they, Okay. They, yeah, but what's. What's kind of shit about it, and I did put this in the PS5 review of it, yeah. is that you can't have women in the city. It's just men. Oh, okay. So when you do a career mode as a man, you can you can either do the story mode, or if you're a bit bored of story mode, you can jump in the city and you can you could do them both together. Whereas the women, you could do the W story mode, but you can't go and play in the city, which baffles me because. There's no rules, really. There's just street so, basketball. So would so. you say, <laughs> would you say <laughs> that you can't do both the women and men together? Is that what you're saying, Christopher? Yeah, yeah you can't. You can't do the women and men both together. Thank you. It's a tra- travesty. I'm not changing the podcast um, title. Big Metal Balls is not going anywhere. <laughs> that was a that's, that sort of one comes along naturally once in a lifetime. No, it's a good one. Uh, Dirt 5. Um, oh, Dirt 5, is man, I want to find some fucking time for that game. Sexy, it's so good. Like, it's it's looking pretty sexy. It's and like, this is another, game. this is an example of haptic feedback done really well. Is you, f- okay. you, like in Astro's Playroom, you feel the car going over different surfaces. Like, you can feel it going through the mud and the, the mud chomping up through the tires. You can feel it going over gravel. You can feel it sliding across the ice on the, the New York, like, racetracks and like it, it feels amazing and like the sound through the headphones like the 3d audio is just nuts like you've got all these sounds going on like the stuff flying out of the back of your tires and like oh. the fireworks in the distance and then the music somehow manages to fit in it without anything like overpowering the other gran turismo is going to be amazing isn't it i think so yeah I think it, it, it's it is. There is no, do you know what I mean? Because this is it's the same for PS5 as it is for Xbox Series X. Is that this is the racing game? Yeah. Mm. So like. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, but it is. I mean, it's top notch. Like, if you're gonna get one or the other, just get it on PS5. Uh, MK11. It, it should, I should one. say I have played it on Xbox Series X, and it looks and runs beautifully there as well. Oh yeah, just, I, I, obviously I, it hasn't got the. Yeah. Haptic. Oh yeah, of course you have because you got. Yeah, 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 I've had it on both. Um, yeah. but the, <laughs> that's another uh, title if I wanted it. <laughs> Just throwing them out here like they're nothing. Save them Mortal, up, mate. We've got a few Mortal... weeks before the end of the year. <laughs> Mortal Kombat 11, number one. Yeah, this is basically the, the whole version. DLCs, fighters, it's massive, massive isn't it? story mode. Like 100 it's, gig, it is wasn't it? A huge, it's a huge package. Oh, for God's um, sake, stop it. It's wasted. I'm not... I know, I'm sorry. Thank you. I think, actually, do you know what? I think we have actually had a podcast called A Huge Package before. I'm Fair pretty enough. sure that we have. That doesn't surprise me. No, and me neither. Um, or but anyone who listens. I, <laughs> it, it, I keep saying it looks amazing, but yeah, it does. It does. Like the, the character models are a lot more defined. Um, it, it never looked bad, ever. No, like no. It always looked amazing. Um, the load times on all of these games, like, mm. like Mortal Kombat, you're into a fight, you're back out again, you're into the lobby, you're into a story mode, you can just yeah, it's so good. So it's, it's certainly worth getting. And then there's Rambo. So why wouldn't you? Uh, which is which? I just want to mention, like whenever you do one of the classic towers and you finish it, you have a little story, don't you? Depending on who yes. you've gone through it as. Rambo's is it's probably better than every story since First Blood. <laughs> like the way wow, it, the way it incorporates itself into the story of Chronica <laughs> and Mortal Kombat is amazing. And it's Sylvester Stallone who's talking like he's. He's talking about Chronica and stuff. It's just weird. 
Um, but yeah, and then FIFA quickly because I don't want to ruin anything for you. Okay. There's a definite the improvement. By. Definite genuinely. Improvement. I find. I think. See, so. the thing is, if you, I, I, I need to because I don't want to be like. No, expecting... I'm not going to talk about where it's better. No, I just don't want to expect the. No, it's just. No, no, you don't expect the the world. No, just, no, I need to. Just... You'll know. I think you'll notice an improvement. The the visuals look like the the new camera angle. Oh, it starts off as that. It's like game cam. And I, I won't talk, I don't want to ruin it for you, but you look oh, at that, it, it, it looks, it just, it feels better as well. And the haptics are cool in that. Very subtle, but they work. So, yeah. Never thought there you go. Would... Yeah. I, <laughs> all this PS5 stuff and Xbox stuff, I feel like a right bastard for saying it, but I'm kind of like, can we get a Ratchet and Clank date now, please? Because I kind of mm. want something to, Jesus. I, it's, not to look ahead, because we'll do that on the Game of the Year podcasts as well. We do a most anticipated awards. So, you know, again, look out for those those podcasts dropping. We'll give plenty of time before we do that. Um, it's, next year's release calendar looks a, a bit dry because I, I, I have a feeling we've had like an ama- amazing amount of these incredibly high-quality games this year. But next year's are going to be the most impacted by COVID, mm. aren't they? Mm. Yeah. So I wonder, Adam. But Adam thanks Carroll, for, thanks for bringing a donut. That's all right, mate. I can do my best. <laughs> um, Demon Souls, Demon Souls, hard as balls. Oh, big time! Unless you play magic, hard in which case, broken balls. Game. Um, yeah, loving it, loving it. I think it is superb. I think it looks amazing. I can't tell you where the hell I am right now off the top of my head because it's one of those games, isn't it? That like. Like you start it up again, you, you just continue, and you go, "Oh fuck, I'm so, here." Kind of, but also, <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> this is the only one in the series that's got defined levels. Like they literally let people online. So and Mick and Mick and I will do this. Um, so the first level you go to, where you start in the castle and that amazing sort of visual, that's one mm. one. And then you finish that boss, and then you're like, that, mm. if you carry on, that's 1-2. And then yeah. the next sort of um, archstone is 2-1. And yeah. they're actually quite defined levels, which is not, rather than this one world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, have, I have to say, though, like, it's, I don't think many people see it this way, but I do get a fierce giggle out of, um, because it looks so good, and yes. because of all, like, do you know, the boxes and crates and barrels and stuff, you know, like when you smash them, they look amazing when they're being smashed up. Like, you know, it's just one of those things, but I get some laugh out of like getting caught off guard by an enemy who just blows through all the barrels. And it's just like, and it's just (laughs) that, that whole (laughs) panic. But like the game is, is amazing. The music's amazing. Like, honestly, it's it's or it's it's early on, but like the, yeah. the dragons at the beginning, oh. I was like, "Holy shit, they look so cool, stunning!" Um, but yeah, um, loving it. Like, there's there's really not much to say about it. It's kind of like if you get a PS5, you just need to get it. Like, it's this just, is my it... my question, like, because all the games I've played on PS5 so far are all PS4 games as well. So mm, of I, course, I, I, yeah, like with Spider Man. Like it does look much better. It, it does on look PS5. better. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, it does. But it, it's not a PS5 exclusive. So, no. like you've played both. Yeah. So, I, all I'm hearing about Demon's Souls is how amazing it looks, and I don't doubt that for a second. But how, like, is it is it noticeable from Spider-Man? Did, are they both like incredibly good looking, or is Demon's Souls edging it? Because it is a PS5 exclusive, so it's yeah. solely for the PS5. See, it's it's just Demon Souls thing. It, it just has the whole like gothic. It's also consistent. Well. Yeah, and just it, like the, like your the depth of view and stuff is so insane. Yeah, that, like you look up and you'll just see something flying along in the in the sky, and you're just like, I can see that so well, yeah. and that just makes the atmosphere just ridiculous. Which is all mm. atmosphere and from software games yeah, are just that's always what I'm amazing. Looking forward to see. Yeah. Um. So like, it's an absolute essential. But you're right in saying it. Like, it's really when we get like something like I don't know, Horizon Two or God of War yeah. Two, where we start mm. going, oh. But like, I agree. Demons is a fucking yeah. serious, and it's serious it's consistently game. good looking game. That is not and a you know what? millimeter of that game that isn't like. Yeah, and I think its visuals really help um, in the gameplay aspect. I think like mm-hmm. how to explain this now, like it well, just frame looks rate so for clear a start. that you're it, yeah like, frame rate it, definitely, it runs but you're better. just able to like yeah. Mm. I just think it's it's easier for people to jump in. I feel. On this yeah, it, it doesn't look 
It's hard. In, it's it, very it is, hard. But in your head, it looks yeah. like a, a FromSoft game, but it actually yeah. doesn't. It actually doesn't. It, it, I mean, it is the the cores there, mm. but this looks. Sony have a a shtick, like f- for all the praise, f- correctly for God of War, Horizon, Days Gone, even Bloodborne, they are all third person action adventure games. Some of them have shooting. It, this feels part of that mm-hmm. stable of games, mm-hmm. while also feeling like a FromSoft game. And I think that's not to say people won't play this and bounce the fuck right off it, because it is hard. Oh, yeah. and, it, and it tricks it you, is. because the first boss is mega easy if you know how to do it. The second boss mm. is pretty easy if you know how to do it. Sorry, th- second or third? It depends on which way you tackle it. It is a very hard game. For example, if you are playing it for the first time, play as a royal, because that way you have magic, and magic is so overpowered in this video mm. game. If you don't know that, I, however, it's hard as balls. I think as well, with, with its visuals, like, when you meet any of the NPCs in these games, like take Bloodborne, for example, you meet a character and the hood is up over the character and they just say something really like cryptic or something. You're like, okay, cool. All right. You go away. When you're in, in this demon souls, like it's like when you go to the Nexus and you start talking to somebody, the camera will pan kind of, you can pan it over the shoulder or whatever. And you just see the level of detail on every oh, character's yeah. face that when they're explaining the story, you can see the emotion. And that, to me, just adds that little extra bit of like yeah, layer yeah. to this kind of a game. And I love that. And I think everyone would love that and appreciate it, appreciate yeah. that. I just think Bluepoint are obviously just fucking brilliant at this kind yeah, of thing. Right, yeah. And yeah. like, I don't know, there's, I only heard this during the week, but there's apparently something, I've, I haven't noticed it, but there's like a Metal Gear, Metal Gear Solid, roar yeah. or something. I, I, I don't know where exactly it is again, but like, if Bluepoint are going down that route, don't, I don't. think like, so, um... Let t- take it back to Demon oh. Souls. I have a question <laughs> oh, for you. I have God. a question for you. When you finish, when you beat the first boss, the Phalanx, you go back to the Nexus, and it tells you mm-hmm. it shows you a panning scene and tells you to go and speak to someone. How long did it take you to find them? Oh Jesus! Right. Let me think. No. The little. I tell you what. Sort right? of Buddha-looking baby. Oh, yeah. I think it took me a while. Mm-hmm. And I'd I I played it before, and I was like, I don't remember this. It took me fifteen minutes of walking around <laughs> trying to. Find... I looked up a guy. Well, the Nexus, the next, yeah, the Nexus out there because, like, when I got to the Nexus first, I actually died in the Nexus. <laughs> How I, I, did you fall I, down? I st- ah, fuck's sake! I read the blood stains, and I got up to the. Oh, top someone told you like, to roll, and you <laughs> rolled up. They were just. Each, each, each oh, plus it's like, you're getting there, get ready for the jump. And I got <laughs> to leap and look. Look. I was like, here we go. And there's just bang look, though, like, That's the lesson to learn there. Is, right? I did look, but a I lot of the time there's rolls are fair, but if they say rolling is key and you look down and it's just a death fall, yeah, well, don't I went, do it. I got back to Nexus. I went back to those blood stains and they fold them all anyway. Like, oh, good <laughs> on you. Get over it. Yeah, yeah no, fair I enough. got my own back. But if, fair uh, look, it's... um. It's it's an amazing game. It is it is a super game. I I think like I jump in. It's one of those games that I'm going to be playing for a long time because I'm not yes. I'm not speedy. I'm not amazing at no. these kind of games. But each victory, yeah. Whether no matter how small it is, it's just like it's such an achievement within it. And I Absolutely. just think the the reward within this game is the progress, obviously. But it's the progress to how it looks, and you mm-hmm. get to see what Blue Point have done and achieved. So uh, yeah, loving it. And oh. um. Any like PlayStation Five? Any other games that we haven't touched upon that you want to mention before we get out of here for a week? Uh, Sp- Sp- Spidey's incredible. I, oh, I, I love good. I love Spider Man so much. I think like it's better Miles than the original, is isn't it? A, um, I I probably like I love for yeah. I love the first one too. Same, but I same. think what's what's so amazing in this is that Insomniac could take um. They can just remove Peter Parker in a way and just give yes. us this guy. Oh, they get rid of him quick, like, sharp. He's whoa. gone. Yeah, I did. He's gone. He's gone off the. He literally goes on holiday. Well, not really a holiday. Yeah. Have you finished um, it yet? I have. I finished it, and I'm actually like cleaning, clearing up. Yeah, the I've got. That's why I want to go back. So you, we've all I, finished it. Not going to spoil, by the way, before anyone worries. Um, question for you. Yeah. They're obviously going to make another one. Yeah. What What do you want that other one? So whatever the next Insomniac two, PlayStation Spider Man game is. Spider Man's. They both have to be in it. I think. Do you think because so? 
of the end credit bit. Yes, I, I... which I obviously it's hard I'm not, not to spoil. spoil. But do you think there's any possibility they make a co-op game? Yes. You think so? PS5, the potential's there to do it. I wondered that. And too. I think the fact that they not only do they go back to the original story at the, at the end. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. They introduce they introduce another villain, which I'll talk to you about off. Not this pod, one. Because yeah. I want to ruin it. Mm-hmm. They're building up to something big. But and what I, I mean think... is, do you think where do you think where do you think the next game's set? Because there's been It'll a be few set. rumors that it's going to be in Japan or something. I think I read Ooh. or like I'd welcome it. But would would mm. you do you think they and and listen, we all loved Spider Man. We all loved Miles Morales. Do you think they get away with a third game in New York? Probably not. There's kind of like oh, references. I'd still play it, of course. Yeah. But I think I think putting it at Christmas makes it look a lot different. Yes, yeah, true, fair yeah. point. So yeah. you know they've got that, but they like they mention the West Coast in um, yes. in the game quite a bit, yeah. and there's stuff in the comics on the West Coast, like the West Coast Avengers. So mm. he could go over there and could... get entangled with that. But I feel like the progression now is to have Miles, who is now built up to, to rival Pete. Like they're both. I, I kind of prefer Miles. I like them in different like ways. Miles. I'm not saying I don't. Yeah, like I'm the same with you. I like I think, Miles. I, I like think a lot more. controlling Miles is is better because I think the Venom powers are nuts. Yes, oh, and that's they, what I mean. How do they go back? They they can't. They can't, can they? Mm. If you could no. switch between them, maybe GTA style. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't mind that. I, I, I think if they're going to do that, that'll be excellent. Yeah. Can I just say though, it has been said already, and I know many people. Well, I don't know many people say it, but I'm sure they would agree. Uh, it just has to be said, lads, that like when I played this game and going back and just clearing it at the moment, I think Insomniac, the traversal is just honestly, but man, they, flawless. They, they, it's they, perfect. they were good with Sunset Overdrive as well. Oh, like, but they, 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 like there's moments no, of, I know. Of, of, of Myers, like when you need to carve around a building. Oh, yeah, and they, they, they nailed it's it. Just, it's just insane. It's just insane. Getting yeah. the heights and but stuff. The thing like is, man, like Insomniac have been one of my favorite devs for a while because I love mm. Sensor Overdrive. I love the Ratchet and Clank games. I love the Spider Man game. Like, Ratchet's going to be the fucking man. Business. That's what I'm saying. I, now I'm looking ahead now and like going, January would be a great month for that game, wouldn't it? And it actually mm. would be a great or maybe really early February. But they yeah. would be great months for those games. Yeah, they would. Yeah, yeah. wouldn't they? Anything yeah. else this week, Ads? Uh, not yet. As it's after this recording, however, I am getting immortal. I know. Yeah. Right, and so I'll have that next week. Talk about so, it. Funny you next week if you're like, I, "What are you lads on?" <laughs> no, I'm like, it's that's for awful. Fun. It just copies Zelda too much. It's it brutal, do, it, and it does. That is not a. That no, is I'm true. Gonna, I'm gonna really. Lo- I'm gonna. No, really I like think you are, but it does copy Zelda too much. There's no. That's okay. But but it's fine. Thank you guys for being here this week. Uh, we will be here next week for a podcast. I think we've a couple more yet before game of the year. Um, like I say, if you haven't looked at them, maybe go back last year's. You would won't find them on YouTube. I can't remember actually. It feels like last year was more than a year ago. Um, we'll be on camera this year, first year ever for Game of the Year pods. We're on camera, um, much like we are now. If you're not watching this, you can go to youtubecom slash geek and watch the podcast with some spicy game footage spliced in as we discuss it. If I've got it on my hard drive, quite frankly. <laughs> um, uh, brilliant stuff. Thank you guys for being here. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, man. And to everyone else, subscribe, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, do all that stuff. It really does help. Those numbers are important in the gaming industry, whether you like it or not. And we will thank you for doing so and see you next week. Whether you listen on a week that I'm just dragging this out for no reason other than I suspect Adam might need a poo. So I'm just going to say, <laughs> oh, he's had one. Never mind. <laughs> Worth watching the video just for that. Uh, we'll speak to you next week or whenever you choose to listen. Bye-bye for now. Mm-hmm.